Hey guys, happy Friday! We are in Caldwell today and we wanted to see a house. It's a friend of ours, Noni, who is listing it for sale. It's a three bedroom house, but it's just huge, almost 3,000 square foot. The house was built in 1947 and it's on 10th Avenue in Caldwell on two acres. It has a huge shop and everything and we just briefly walked through. I haven't been to the shop yet, so it's going to be a surprise to me too. Apparently you can have horses here, there's a pasture and there's just so much more. So let's go inside and check it out. So come with me, it's going to be a treat. So the house was built in 1947, I don't know if I mentioned it. And it's an old brick home. And it's nicely updated. Honestly, I'm not sure when it was updated, but it's really nice and modern inside. Kind of interesting that you have a half a bath right at the front door, but I think it was an after uh, thought, you know, later. And as you step in, this is the formal dining room or the dining room. I really like the big windows everywhere. The office, Look at the big windows. And even though we are on 10th Avenue, can you hear the noise? Because I cannot. Nice, big, formal office, windows, windows. And what's interesting, or I found it interesting, that they had the original hardwood flooring. They actually didn't refinish it. They left it the way it is, which is kind of cool. I actually like it. And then they updated the flooring in the rest of the living area. Come check out that kitchen. I really like this. You wouldn't expect this from a house that was built in 1947. Beautiful white cabinets and granite counters, all stainless steel appliances. I like the dishwasher being elevated. Looks good, huh? has a corner pantry behind you, Isaac, but don't worry about it. People can imagine what a corner pantry looks like. To the downstairs, this is where you go down, but we're gonna go and check out the rest of the main floor first. So follow me. By the way, check out that patio in the back. I actually really like brick houses, you know, I am from Europe and we don't use wood for building other than, you know, cabins in the mountains for like weekends and all that, but we use brick. So I kind of feel home in this place. Huge living room and again you have the big picture windows. It's more like a ranch style home with the basement, full basement, and I really like that piano, although it's probably not included in the sale. Uh, I shouldn't say that. You never know, right? Everything is for sale for the right price. And it does have a beautiful wood-burning fireplace. You know what I just noticed? There's no TV here. TV is downstairs. And then the hallway, and there are two bedrooms on the main level, the master. And the same thing, if you look at the flooring, they didn't refinish it. They just left it. Patina? Is that what it is? I like the colors. It's that gray color with a little tint of blue. And it's a queen size bed, right? Nice big bedroom. Updated doors everywhere and woodwork. Double vanity. Really pretty. I like this little feature in the middle, if you can turn around for a second. I'm curious how deep they are. Whoops, not very deep. But it's cute. Oh, a heating lamp. Big bathtub behind, tiled, and then the throne. And they even have a nice little linen closet here. Okay, so closets here too. That's what I like in the older houses. There's a lot of space for putting your stuff. And then the second bedroom, I don't even know, it's a, probably about a 12 by 12. I don't know, it's big. A queen size bed and look at all this room. Nice big closet. And the walls are nice and thick. This is the downstairs and if you are 5 foot 4 like me, even with heels, you can make it. If you are much taller, mm, you better duck. 
hallway, and it's really, really cold down here. Um, this is the bonus room. And another wood burning fireplace. And the TV. This is big. You can watch some cool movies here, huh? Closet, closet, and then the downstairs bedroom with a smaller bathroom. It's just a little shower, sink, and a potty. And let's check out the garage. Little breezeway, nice, and a two car garage, and that's brick too. It's nice and toasty. But it's fully finished and has insulated garage door. Okay, next. Okay, so we are out in the patio and again keep in mind, 10th Avenue, kind of noisy, but you are on the patio and it's nice and kind of quiet. All you can hear is the air conditioning running. There are two accesses to the house it looks like, one to the dining room and one to the hallway to the bedrooms. And you can have a barbecue, you can sit around, or just check out your property and the horses. Okay, let's check out the shop next. The shop is 42 by 58 feet. Nice big shop. There is plenty room to park whatever you want to. The biggest RV you can put in here, 52 feet deep, 48 feet wide. Nice. Lots of room for whatever you want. And you have the rest of the property. So the entire property is two acres. And apparently, according to city, city of Caldwell, uh, there is a potential to split off an acre, which is the pasture area. There is a potential. So, if that's what you are interested, you could check it out if you can do it. Maybe build another house or sell it or whatever. There are horses, fence, the arena, and one, two, three stall for the horses. Okay, so this was it. Kept it nice and short because it's pretty hot out here and I'm melting. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give us the thumbs up, subscribe and comment. Let us know what you think about the property, about the videos or any comments really. We like to talk and chat. So see you next time. Until then, this is Judith Chris, broker, owner of Top Idaho Real Estate. Take care.